Okay, so welcome. What I want to do is show you how to graph one-third tangent of 3x. So when graphing one-third tangent of 3x, um, the main important thing for tangent is we need to determine kind of our initial period, the start and the end, and then also look at our period. So to find the period, all right, remember the first thing we're going to do um, is just going to take pi and divide it by b. Well, in this case, our pi divided by b is going to be pi divided by 3. Then we're going to look at our critical points, or our x scale. Now remember, our x scale for sine and cosine was divided by 4. Well, now we're only going to have to divide our x scale by 2. So we take pi thirds divided by 2, which equals pi over 6. So therefore, I know my period is now going to be pi thirds, and my x scale is going to be pi 6. The next thing is I want to find the start of my function, or in my initial period, and the end of my initial period. So remember, the tangent function is different than the sine and cosine, where our start is going to be x equals um, negative pi, I'm sorry. Our start, rather than equaling 0, is going to equal that negative pi over 2. So you're going to take inside your function and set that equal to a negative pi over 2. And our end, rather than setting equal to 2 pi like sine and cosine, is now going to take inside our function and set that equal to a positive pi over 2. So therefore now, what we're going to do is simply solve for x. So we're going to divide by 3. And therefore, the start is going to be x equals negative pi over 6 and x equals pi over 6. So therefore, those are going to be my two starting points. So in graphing the tangent function, the first thing I want to do is create my x-axis. And I'm going to start at negative pi over 6. So we know that it's going to end at pi over 6, and there's two important points. So I'm going to have a important point here, and then it's going to end at pi over 6. Well, since my x scale is also pi over 6, I can show that my next middle point is going to be the y, inter y axis, or when x equals 0. So now I just need to determine at each one of these critical points what my graph is going to look like. Well, let's go and at least do two more. Let's do a period to the right and a period to the left. So let's just add another pi over 6. So if I have pi over 6, this will be 2 pi over 6. And here I'll have 3 pi over 6. Going in the, sorry, in the negative direction, I'll have my next point will be negative 2 pi over 6 and then negative 3 pi over 6. Now it's important for us to understand that um, here's my starting point. So therefore, this is going to be my asymptote. And my end point is also going to be an asymptote for my tangent graph. Now remember, there's two critical points. The first critical point being the intercept, which is that this, for this period, is going to be at 0, and then my asymptote. So then this next point is also going to be an intercept. And therefore, at 3 pi, or pi halves, is going to be an asymptote. I can use the same logic over here to create this as my intercept, and this to be, my, again, my another vertical asymptote. So now we need to take a look at what exactly is this graph you know, going to look like. Well, now there's a lot of different ways that we can look at this. And I don't want to get too technical um, because I think a lot with technology, we can really use this. And the main important thing is I just want you to understand how to graph it and what to get into. We know that we're going to have an intercept here. And we know that the end behavior approaches this asymptote and approaches this asymptote. But how are we going to graph? How, what is the shape going to look like? So the best advice I would say is to find a value between your asymptote and your intercept, and then plug that into your function. And what we notice is when I plug it into my function and then multiply it by 1 3rd, I'm going to get a value. And if you can just kind of plot those values on there, you'll get a good idea of what the curve is going to look like. However, I know this, that by multiplying by 1 3rd, I'm going to get a little bit of a wider um, function with my graph. So therefore, I'm just going to kind of graph mine. And I'm just trying to sketch the graphs. I don't want to get too technical for these videos. Especially since you know a lot of times you guys can just use your calculators to be able to kind of determine a point to the left of the intercept and a point to the right of the intercept by plugging in an x value into your function and figuring it out. So I don't want to spend too much time on that side of the on the problem solving. I just want you guys to be able to see how to find the start, the end, the x scale, the period, and to be able to graph it with using some of these transformations. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you graph the tangent function. Thanks.